to renovating number five. Follow us on our journey through the highs and lows of renovating our new adventure. Last time on number five, we finished off the hallway. This time, we start work on turning the old bar games room into a fourth bedroom with ensuite. First thing to do is get rid of this dated brick bar. Just a few more bricks for the garage. We've already plastered the walls where the French sliding doors to the barbecue area was and doorway into bedroom 3. And you would have already seen us fit the bedroom window in a previous episode. So now to put up the framing for the ensuite. Andy starts by screwing a piece of wood to the floor. With the first upright post in place, now it's time to fix one to the ceiling, but we need to cut out the coving and a bit of the rafter, and being height challenge, holding wood above your head for long periods of time is hard work. We use a plumb line to position the upright post in the correct place. With nogging set to the crate space, putting up the rest of the frame goes up quickly. It also helps when you've done this three times already this month. We nearly look like professionals. With the framing all done, we channel out the floor for the plumbing.
So the dust is settled now and you can see that we've cut the channels for the sink waste pipe and then that's going to be the shower base waste which is goes straight outside and the toilet will be over where the where the sink waste is over there but it's got a uh, rear waste that goes out so it'll just literally go out the water we don't actually have to cut any um, concrete for that luckily a rotten piece of wood at the bottom of the framework in the old wall needs to be replaced before we can plaster the walls. With the wood marked where the upright posts fit, I make a series of cuts into the wood using the circular saw, making sure not to cut all the way through. Once these are done, I chisel out the wooden pieces. Forgot to allow for the water pipes, but that's easily fixed. Now to start plastering the walls. Okay, the first sheets of plaster board are up on the outside. And I've tried to keep the edges as tight as possible. And then pretty flush all the way down. Pretty pleased with that bit of plastering. So I've just got that last find a little bit of plasterboard to go up here and it's, I left that to last because it was a little bit tricky. Because the doorway's there and you have to allow, I think it's five mils or something like that, to round your architrave, I'd forgotten that when I put the two bits of side plasterboards up. And um, so what I should have done is gone, well, I had no choice. I had to have it to go along there to fit on the beam, on the piece of wood, so it had something to mount up against. So when I 
cut this piece, I need to make sure I allow for the bit that goes above the door frame. So I have to drop a little bit down. So it needs to come to, the, to where the door frame, you can see the door frame. So I need to allow for that. So I've had to measure the different heights because obviously the two bits of plasterboard aren't at the same height, just to make things easier. And I'd like to allow for the drop where the door frame is gonna go. And I also, before I can put it up, I was gonna to have to take this coving down, which I found out today, that's not a standard size. Okay, so, so that I um, cut it to the right size and shape, I've drawn all the measurements. Draw my diagram. And then I've drawn all the, kind of drawn it to the right measurements hopefully but I'm not going to cut it out yet first because I'm going to muff it up against the frame to make sure that I actually have got them in the right places because there's one thing you can't do is put it back on once it's been taken off is in place. Managed to put that okay. Quite pleased with that. Now I've just got a lot of filling to do. With most of the filling done, I fit the angle poise. This is used to protect the corners from knocks. Now that's nailed in place, I can finish off the plastering. Next time on number five, we finish decorating bedroom four. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share.